Hi guys, this is Hyunmin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. <clears throat> so for today, right, I'm actually gonna be talking about how do you get from um 10k right to 500k coins within one single day. I have a couple of trading methods that you can consistently use right now, and then subsequently I'm gonna also be talking about this unassigned glitch, right? Because when we invest in for example fodder you want to go crazy on fodder right uh you guys don't know how to have more than 50 cards on your unassigned list i'm going to talk about how we can solve that problem and of course we're going to be talking about for those who have more coins right we're going to be talking about what to invest in right i'm actually going to be going all in on this investment so do stay tuned right so let's actually move on right now so I want to talk about some of the um, filters, right, that I actually gave in my previous trading video, right? So this was the um, label the Taurus filter that I gave in the previous trading video. I mentioned you bid for these cards for between 150 to 200 coins, right? So if you have done that, you know, you're, you're, you're definitely making coins, right? So they are selling for about 550 coins right now for the label the Taurus cards. I also mentioned the Suda America cards, right? So, you know, right now they're still going for between 150 to 200 coins. You can get them on bid quite easily, right? And then if you take a look at the buy now price, they are actually about, they're going to insta sell at 550 coins, right? So even at 600, they're going to insta sell. So, you know, right now you can actually still practice this filter, right? So just for the Suda America cards, just get them for between 150 to 200 coins and then sell them for about 600 coins and um, if you guys are a little bit more patient they're probably gonna rise a bit more later in the day right probably to like 650 or 700 coins so no rush if you can't manage to sell all of them so right now i want to show you the that this method actually works so look at this this is from um, one of my viewers Again, he bought these Suda America cards at between 150 to 200 coins, sold them off for about 550 coins, right? So, you know, this is the Labor de Torres cards, right? Again, five, he bought for, for 150 to 200 coins, he sold them for about 550 coins. You know, this is so, so, so easy. And he was actually just um, grinding all this out. Right, again, this is another page, sold all of them at 550 coins. Right, he was grinding this, you know, for about uh, an hour and 30 minutes. And he told me that he made between 30 to 50k in 30 minutes. So if you do the maths, right, if you do this for an hour, you make about 70k. If you do this for 4 hours, you make 280k. If you do this for 6 hours, you're going to make 420k. If you do this for 7 hours, that is when you hit your 500k mark. This is just from this one trading method alone. That's why, you know, I, I'm not lying, right? I, I mentioned that I'm going to show you guys how to get from 10k to 500k within one day. So I'm going to be showing you more trading methods to complement this trading method. Right? So um, this is from another one of my viewer. Again, it's selling, right? Uh, you know, these are just pages and pages of how this trading method is actually uh, working, right? Um, you know what's the, the best thing about this is it's low budget, you know, zero risk. I don't think you can ask for anything more other than um, other than that, right? All these are all pages and just um, pages of the profits. You can easily double your coins, you know, from 10k to 20k, 20k to 40k, 40k to 80k, you know, so on and so forth until you have um, enough coins to actually invest in the other stuff with us and then you can make even more coins right it's so easy from zero to 500k you probably just need about six to seven hours of your time to in order to achieve that it's so simple so um the next filter i want to talk about is this uh go common method right so you just go go common here and you know go and bid go and bid for your go comments so i would say right your go comments right try to get them for between um 400 to 450 coins if you can't get them for between 400 to 450 you know even if you go to 550 max right that is fine why 
because they are actually gonna sell or they are actually selling right now let's see, let's see right how much are they selling so they are insta selling for 600 coins what about 650 yeah so they're gonna sell insta sell for 650 almost right probably you have gotta wait like 5 10 minutes so 700 is a bit of a stretch so go bid on this gold commons maximum 550 coins and then uh, list them up for 650 coins. Yeah, you're going to be making easy, easy coins. So I would say in between the Suda America, Liberal de Torres and the Go Commons, after you have bid, you, know, you bid like 50, right? Then go and play some games, you know, play a game of rivals, score battles, whatever. Then come back to this method, right? So, you know, you space your bids out and you can get some games in as well. So right now, I'm actually going to show you another filter that is working very, very well. So you go go rare, prem, and you go to Man City, right? So if you check uh, Man City cards, let's see, right, how much are they selling for right now? So they're going for about, um, let me see. All right, so the cheapest City cards, they're going for about 1.4k right now. Yeah, so about 1.4k they are insta selling, right? So 1.4k is the sell price. Let's look at the buy price. So you should be able to win them for easily, I would say, yeah. So bid bid for them, you know. Um they are they are they are selling, insta selling at about they are insta selling for 1.4k. Can I can can we stretch it? I forgot. Can we stretch it? So they are insta selling at 1.4k. So if you can get um, any go rares from CT, right? I would say you can go maximum, right? You can even go up to 1K. But, you know, you can try to bid for them between 700 to 750 coins. You should be able to win it. If you can't, maximum bid them for 1K and sell them at 1.4K. All right? So there's another method right now. So you actually go to, uh, let's go to Striker. So Hulan Alvarez, right, is about at 2.1k 2. 2. right now. He's going to insta-sell at 2.1k, maybe 2.2. So again, for Hulan Alvarez specifically, you can probably beat on him. Let's see, how much is he? If he's selling for 2.1k, you can go up to... 1.4 to 1.5, right? But you might not need to go on that much. Maybe you can just try to get him for about 1k and then list him up for about 2.1k. That's um, easy money. So alternatively, right? Uh, you can position modifier, change him, right? This is what I call the position modifier trading method. So you saw, right? The striker version went for 2.1k. What about the center forward version? Alright, so the center forward version right now is going for about 3.8k, right? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, he's going for about 3.8k. So what you do, you buy Hulen Alvarez, right? You know, right, we have this um, position modifier that you only need to submit a bronze common card to get, right? You get five of those every single day. So I would say, you know, do your position modifier... Um, SBC every single day, right? The one over here, it's so simple. You just have to submit a bronze player, right? 150 coins and you get your position modifier. You don't have to buy them off the market, whereby they, are, they cost more than 1K. So do your position modifier um, upgrade every single day, get the five, and then you can do something like this. So it's easy, like I mentioned, pick up Alvarez for, on beat for about 1.1K, position modifier, him to center forward and sell him for 3.8k that's like easy coins you make about i would say 2.6 to 2.7k you can do this five times right and you make um how much 15k so those are easy coins let's go to the next filter right so we are staying on go rare All right let's go cam and um <clears throat> for the country let's go netherlands and then um, Error Divisi. Where is Error Divisi? Over here. And then we go um, IX, right? So um, main price, we're going to set at this. And then the max buy now, we're going to go 1.8. Alright, so Berghaus is 
probably insta selling at 1.8 so bid for broadcast for about 1.5 selling for about 1.8 that's another um filter so alternatively right because Burk house right um he has an alternate position right let's check it out his alternate position is right wing right so you can get him for 1.5k and then change him to a right winger which i think he probably would sell more yeah so the right wing is 3.4k you know you can um do that as well right um you can either choose to position modifier trade with Burkhouse or hulan alvarez it's up to you you're gonna be making so much coins right if you have a uh, lots of position modifier in your club right because now you can only do five a day right that's why i say accumulate the position modifier so all these are all easy easy coins if you guys want more of such filters um, sometimes i release them on my stream sometimes i release them in youtube videos sometimes i release them on discord so if you want all these filters you want all this information be sure to sub to the youtube channel as well as join up the discord right you guys are going to be making so much coins in this upcoming week especially all right so those are the filters that i have for you guys uh the next thing i want to talk about is i want to talk about the um sbcs we got this um leonardo bonucci sbc right medium high work rate two star four star you know acceleration is at 82 which is really good right you know if you look at the defending stats it's actually very very good right 92 interceptions 93 defensive awareness you know very good strength very good aggression of course the only thing that i don't really like is the 61 agility as well as the 77 dribbling but at least he has 95 composure so if you are being pressured right uh like your opponents play plays constant pressure right at least you'll be able to pass the ball out right so this is a pretty um decent sbc he's about 150k the last time i checked right so let's look at the squad requirements right it's an 84 rated squad along with the 86 rated squad so um <clears throat> i did mention the two favorite ratings right from yesterday's trading video and i'll talk more about that later all right just keep that in mind so um yesterday right we also gotten this um 87 plus hero player pick right it was about 270k right so um your requirements 86 rated squad along with a 87 rated squad so um you know i'll have to say right the pack weight on these right aren't that um great to be honest right we did a couple on share plays right on the stream and personally i had um i got world cup marquez in mind you know but i always love hero player picks right more than icons right anyway this made for the rise a lot for selected ratings selected ratings for example if you guys watched my youtube video yesterday i tipped right my two favorite ratings were 84s and 86s if you guys remember so your 86s right we picked them up for about 13k they went up to about 16k or so right i sold some for 16250 some for even higher some were at 17 to 18k right your 87s right your 87s they actually went from let's see they went from 18k i believe 18k to about 21k yep 18k to about 21k so these two ratings 86s and 87s actually did really well they had the two um those two ratings were the biggest rises the rest didn't go up that much you know so your 84s right your 84s actually also rose a bit right we picked 84s up at about 3.2k they i sold some of them for between 4.2 to 4.5 right the lazy listers but in actual fact they only went up to about 3.8 3.9k so um no worries if you guys went all in on 84s they are probably gonna rise um within the next two days or so and in fact i'm gonna be talking more about 84s later so these are some of the more 86s that i sold so like i mentioned some 86s went up even higher to like 17.5k uh, so um <clears throat> the question right now is um you know what can we expect to see within the next two days right next two days 
I think right we'll be seeing a 85 by 5 right because we actually have this leak either today or tomorrow so this was the previous requirement for this 85 by 5 it was a 86 rated squad with one inform right so with this in mind what should we invest in so I would say right for console players right if you are looking for something to invest in your 83s are actually a decent shout right um get them on bid at 850 coins if not snipe them at 900 coins max for pc players they are a bit higher 83s get them on bid at 900 coins and you can actually snipe them at 1k max okay so the next rating i want to talk about is your 84s right so um, like I mentioned, if you went all in on 84s based on my YouTube video yesterday, no worries because we are still picking up 84s even today. For both PC and console players, you can pick up 84s at 3.4k max, right? Try to get them on bid at about 3.2k. So 85s are also another option. So for both console and PC players, 85s at 8.7k max, you know, or... You can actually bid for them at about 8.5k. Now your 86s. For console players, right? Your 86s, you're looking at about 14.5k max based on the current prices. So you can get them for 14k on bid, right? I don't mind them that much. Try to get them for below 14k, I would say. So for your PC players, right? Uh, 86s at 14.5k max and same. 14k on bid is basically the uh the same which is my favorite rating i would say 84s personally are my favorite rating right i'm actually gonna go all in on 84s right now you can put two mil to three mil inside 84s and i don't think there's any risk at all personally i'm gonna be putting most of my coins into 84s right i'm gonna be buying a bit of 86s as well right if you guys want you guys can go in a bit on 85s as well so the next question that you guys might ask might be how am I going to hold 2 mil worth of 84s, right? How am I going to go unassigned? How can I have more than 50 unassigned items, right? I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is called the unassigned glitch. So what happens is I want to show you guys that I am not able to buy cards right now. It doesn't really matter what cards. So let's, let's say right, I want to do this buy now. There will be this error message that says, you know, there was an error communicating with the servers. Let's try, um, let's try to go on bid, right? Let's see whether we'll be able to pick up anything on bids. Yep, so I, I won't be able to pick up anything on bids. This means that um, <clears throat> you have too many unassigned items, right? You probably have more than 50 or 50 unassigned items. So what you want to do, right, is first of all, you want to close the game itself. So just close the game. And then, you know, go back out into the game itself. So, yeah, in the meantime, while we are waiting for the game to load, if you guys want to make lots of coins, you guys have trading questions, right? The best way to go about doing it, if you want to make lots and lots of coins, and you guys have lots of trading questions, right? Um, the easiest way is to go and join my Discord, which is still currently free right now. I'm not sure for how long more it's going to be free because... The people in my Discord are making so much money. They are making so much money in the in the Discord, you know. And everybody is just sharing their profits every time, you know, in the trading segment of the Discord. You know, if you guys don't believe, you know, you guys can join up the Discord and check out the check out the profits that our our members have been making, man. Everybody is just making coins in the Discord. You know, it just depends on whether you follow through with the tips that I give. So back back to the unassigned glitch. So after you have restarted your game, right? You go into there are two there are two methods, right? The first method is you go into objectives. You have to claim something from objectives, right? It cannot it cannot be a pack. It either has to be something like this, a player pick, or it can be a T4. Uh, a jersey right that you can actually get it can be you know it can be this um goodmanson card right basically it has to be something that will pop up on your 
on your unassigned list. All right, if you guys get what I'm saying. If I were you guys and I want to invest lots and lots of coins, like two to three mil worth of items, right? I would probably keep some of these um, jerseys and some of these player picks, right? And then when I actually go and purchase the cards, I can keep all these in my back pocket to use, right? That's the first method. The second method that everybody can definitely do instantly is you go to this... Um, this position modifier upgrade it is so useful right now you know it's so simple you can do it five times a day so what you do is uh like i mentioned right it's just a bronze card so let's just chuck any bronze card in all right so let's submit this so what happens if is after you have submitted your squad oh, sorry after you have submitted the bronze card right you probably won't be able to see the position modifier card itself. Right, take a look. You you won't be able to find it because you have more than fifty unassigned items. Right. For example, this is me. You can't see it, but that's fine. So what you do right now is you go back onto the market, and you can either go and you know buy now, you know snipe cards, or you can do bids. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna give an example. Right, so that's so that's it. It works, right? You can go on bits as well, right? Let me show you that the bits are working as well. Right? Um how many cards can you buy every time you do this? I would say based on uh how I've tested it, right? It's probably be about a hundred cards or so, I would say. Right, I would say about you probably can do about uh, 100 cards or so of this after you have done this every single time like I mentioned Right, uh, you can do this five times every day, right? Because of the position modifier upgrade and then keep some of your player picks or some of the jerseys In case when you want to buy more than maybe two to three mil worth of items, right? You can bring it out and then you probably can you know um, Use this glitch for about 10 to 15 times a, a day. So yeah, th that's the unassigned glitch for you. I've actually come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoy the video, hit that like button. And you know, if you guys want to see more trading videos, player reviews, you know, my weekend tactics, you know, how to craft SBCs, I basically can help you with anything FIFA related. You know, anything. I've been playing this game for way too long. I know so much about this game. And if you guys are very new to the game and you guys need help, you know, I think that you know you should you should join up the Discord man as well as for trading tips as well. You know, I can help you guys in so many ways. Yeah, and I'm out, alright? Take care guys.